In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot MetaTrader 5 trading app. So if you're finding difficulties or you're having challenges with your MetaTrader app, maybe the app is not responding or it keeps on crashing or it can't even open at all. Then let me show you how you can troubleshoot this problem. If you find this video helpful, I'll kindly request that you support me by liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel. So there are various ways or there are various methods you can use to troubleshoot this app. And I'll walk you through these methods. Now, in the first method, we need to access the MetaTrader 5 information page. There are two ways you can do it. First, you need to go to settings. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use Redmi Note 5. However, this process should be the same on any other Android smartphone. So if you go to your settings, go ahead and look for the option called Apps. And here we go. Tap on it to open. Now you'll see this option called Manage Apps. Some phones, it is all apps just go ahead and tap on it and then this will list all the apps that you have on your smartphone now you can proceed and search for your app here or you can scroll down this page and look for your app so i'll go ahead and look for my metatrader 5 app and here it is i'll go ahead and tap on it to open now you see we have access to app info page now if that process is quite long let me show you a shortcut method to get to this app info page now the shortcut method to get to that page is just to go ahead and long press on your app. You can see my app is here. If I go ahead and long press on it, now you can see we have this option called app info. So go ahead and tap on it and then this will take you to the same page as before. Now from here, we need to go ahead and clear the app data. If I go ahead and tap on storage here, you can see we have quite a number of cached files here and also user data. So we need to go ahead and clear cache and cache are just small files that are normally stored on your app whenever you use it and these are stored so that they can enhance the usability or user experience of your app however the accumulation of these files might result to your app malfunctioning or failing so what you need to do is to go ahead and clear cache files or cache data and you can easily do it by tapping on this clear data here if i go ahead and tap on it now you see you have two options here clear all files and clear cache so we shall proceed and tap on clear cache if i tap on clear cache we have here an option to give an ok so i'll go ahead and tap on ok and that will go ahead and clear all the cache on this app now at this point now go ahead and restart your smartphone and then try open this app and this should fix most of the problems that you are encountering however should this not solve your problem then you might want to go ahead and clear all the data of this app and you can do so by still coming on this page and then use this option called clear all data however i like that you do it as the last option because there is another option that i'll show you just shortly the reason why i recommend this to be the last one because it will go ahead and log you out of your app and it will also go ahead and delete if you had customized anything or if you had login details you will have to log in afresh so go ahead and tap on clear all data and then this will go ahead and clear all the app data and therefore you'll have to log in afresh with your username and password for you to be able to use your app so that is the second method that you can use now on the last method you will need to go ahead and access this app from google play store or app store if you are using an iphone so if i go to play store here I can go ahead and tap on it and then I'll go ahead and search for my app by typing on search bar here. So I'll go ahead and search and now you can see our app is here. If I go ahead and tap on it, now you can see we have the app and we have two options uninstall and open. One of the reasons why your app might be malfunctioning is because you have been using an outdated app and you need to upgrade this to the latest version. So look for any option called update here. If it is available, then go ahead and update it to the latest version. For my case, I can't update it because I already have the latest version and all I need to do is just go ahead and tap on it and open it. So by following or using any of this method, now your app should be up and running smoothly. So if you have any other question, kindly let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if this video is helpful to you, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to support me. Thanks for watching and please watch the next video.